So, hi everybody, and welcome back to my garage. Today it's a new project, and um, this time it's uh, finally time for building a custom made pipe for my uh, speed fight. Um, uh, this time I used a new uh, program um, made by uh, or according to. Uh, Fritz Overmarst uh, theories. Um, so I'm gonna try that one, and uh, the settings for it is uh, 118 cc, 193 degrees on the exhaust port, and I'm gonna tune it for 9,000 RPMs. So first of all, I fill in the bore. It's 55 millimeters on the stroke is 49.7. Um, then I put in uh, 193 degrees and the uh, target RPM is 9000. Target uh, horsepower is 22 and um, length from cylinder is about 100 millimeters because I use a pipe bend in the beginning. So I put in uh, 100 millimeters. Uh, it's an air cooled uh, setting, yeah. And then I want a three stage one. So, and um, here we have it. This is the pipe, all the cones and all the measures I use. Uh, cone layout, um, as it's recommended here, and I use that. It's a very good problem. It's just printing out the uh, the cones on paper and you can place them on sheet metal and, and uh, cut them out by hand so well yeah on to the work so this is the result this is the parts I'm gonna cut out um, I'm gonna manually bend them into cones and uh, yeah, weld it together and so on. And uh, lucky for you, you're going to be able to watch everything. So if you want to build your own pipe, you can just uh, watch me doing it. It's uh, quite simple. Um, and of course, there's a lot of things to a pipe, but this is the, the basic things. So, hopefully you will enjoy this. Yeah, so to start with, uh, for me I have some plates here. It's 1.2 millimeters thick. And um, usually when I start to cut out cones or uh, sheet metal pieces, that's going to be cones. So, starting up with the clean plate and I place this cone out and then I take a sharpie and just paint over the the edge here Voila, there it is.
here's the first part I'm not going to show everyone because it's quite boring to watch it but this is the way to do it this little piece here I have to do it by a small hand uh, hand scissor um, but this is how you cut out the cones just mark them when you have printed them out on paper and just cut them out I found this the most uh, the best thing to, uh, the best way to do it because if you use an angle grinder it's a lot harder to get smooth lines so this is easier to start bending and and easier to cut it out when you do it like this uh, it, it's very easy actually so yeah so now I'm going to cut out all, all of the cones um, at least most of them and then I will show how to bend them and make them into cones so it's a good thing when you use uh, the program I have uh, used the cone layout that you can actually print out uh, bending lines and uh, although it's uh, pretty okay to do it uh, without them it's even better with them so what you can do here is to mark to mark the uh, every every little line here uh, in order to make it a bit easier to aim for where you uh, have to bend it because uh, when you bend it you start start from the middle Uh, with the middle line like this, you bend a little bit and then you move, you bend, you move like this and you have to make sure that you're in center with everyone, otherwise the cone will be warped. So it's quite good to mark out the bending lines. Um, when you have made a couple of, of these you don't, maybe you, don't, you don't need them but I thought it was easier to show you the easy way, or at least the easiest way to do it, to be able to, to learn uh, how it's done. So, I have um, put a, a pipe in my vise, and I'm going to use this to bend the sheet metal around. And I'm going to show the the absolutely most um, the, the hardest one to to bend because it's not that easy up here in in uh, in this area here uh, where the diameter is about I think it was 15 or something like that and uh, I it, I take a little bit of risk to make myself uh, a fool but uh, this is the hardest part. The rest of the cones are very easy, so it's better to show this one um, to put some fear in you, not to try this at home. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, you start with the first line and the and the center line up here, and then you bend a little, like this, and then take the next one, and you bend a little. Take the next one, bend a little, and the next one. I'll try to bend a little. It's not so easy, but then you continue to do this all around like this.
it's better to use a soft rubber hammer. What have I used this for? It seems like it's full of rust. I don't know. Just bend between the lines, like so. See how easy it is to warp the cone, but I'm going to fix that. Don't you worry. Some left here. I'm not going to show it, but I, can, I, I see that <laughs> I can't figure out a way to put the camera to show it. But you see, just to to form the cone uh, bit by bit, and uh, the final result I can assure you is going to be perfect. Um, but uh, it takes some takes some time, takes some effort to do it. So. But it's it's uh, it's quite easy anyway. So. You see when when I put these together now, they form an, uh, almost a perfect cone. And and it's just to yeah to to take the hammer and move it around a little bit and make it perfect. So this is the way to make cones. Maybe I should show an easier one too. Um. So let's grab this one and do the same. Start in the middle, bend over, 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 like this. Usually I bend a little bit with between the line. You can like move it like this. But you have to move the bottom end a little bit faster than the top one. Mm. 
from the hardest part is always the edges, but they are quite easy to hammer in a little bit. And you see, almost perfect round, and it's just some fixing. This, uh, you see, perfect. It's very easy. The hardest part is this one. I'm going to make the rest of the cones so you <laughs> don't have to watch my um, my method and my, sim and my simple mistakes. So we're back then when I start welding this together and trying to fitting it on the on the bike. So I think that this is uh, what I'm going to show for this part. Um, I think you can figure it out how it's done. So, goodbye and see you next time.